Welcome back. If you are just seeing this video for the first time, go check out the part one of this where we set up the data for our social media feed here. Uh, and just real quick, a quick glance at what it is that we're building here, because this is the UI video. So you're going to learn in this video how to lay out this UI so that it looks like a lovely social media feed, just like the one in Instagram. Now, uh, let's see. I'm going to define these borders independently so I can take the bottom style here, give it a solid border of this because I believe it has kind of that in Instagram. And then next up, we're going to grab an image. And like I said in the first video, that this is the point where rather than grabbing an image, if you were to have a video, you would want to grab, let's see, like this video JS plugin is a free plugin where you can just display videos, a bunch of different options for working with, uh, with videos, but just there's a nice free one. Also, a great time to note that go ahead and install this relative time with moment JS plugin, because we're going to use that as we work our way down here and get to this uh, part that shows when the post was posted. Okay, so um, let's go and work on the rest of this UI layout. So we're just going to expand that. We'll make the aspect ratio fixed at one to one, and then we'll have this uh, data for this image. Grab the one from the parent group's post image. Easy enough. And we'll just say, hey, zoom it. Why not? All uh, right. So then after that, we have got, let's see, the like and comment bar. Again, like I mentioned in the last video, the bookmarks or the mess the, the share is kind of a messaging thing that's outside of the scope of this. And then the uh, bookmark one that is uh, the same as the favorites feature, bookmarkings, favorites. They're, they're kind of the same thing. Uh, we call this group, uh, let's see, interaction bar. Uh, likes and likes and bookmarking are basically the same, uh, like or favoriting something for later are basically the same. So, uh, and that's over in video 14 of the yoga app uh, video that's on this channel. So we want to set this up as a row and let it expand out. And let's go with something like 44 uh, maybe. And then we're going to grab, let's go to the plugins. Um, Let's add Google material icons and let's drop in. I think it's the favorite icon is how the, that one's labeled and we'll make that one maybe 36 by 36. And we'll give it on from the left side. I think we're doing maybe eight is how that uh, top one here as it so we'll just start with eight as an indent for all of the stuff and then copy and paste a new one here we'll call this one icon like look at this great uh, organization and labeling and then we'll call this one comments and then let's see do we want to say chat perhaps or comment what looks like a comment i think this one probably maybe mirrors more closely what we're looking at here sort of kind of and then just as a glance at these things, it looks like for whatever reason, this one seems bigger, feels bigger. And I wanna give it on the top side, maybe two from a margin and just from eyeballing. There's like this thing, it's just a personal opinion, but I think there's like a center of gravity, visually speaking to, uh, to things. And uh, sometimes you just gotta fudge things to make the center of gravity look right to your own eyes, or at least that's my uh, perspective. So cool, uh, next up, liked by and sometimes there's a photo there right so let's see uh we're gonna do this where we're gonna have conditionals where boom 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 if there are multiple likers we're gonna show those photos so let's get started on that ui and i'm just gonna copy and paste this one down sure why not delete this stuff out of here and actually what do i want to have in here i want to have a like bar uh let's see well that was kind of funny uh the comment the 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 content of the of the post itself a bunch of comment stuff and then this thing so there's some conditionals here right like if nobody had liked this then it wouldn't show anything so what i'm going to do i'm going to say this is just the group um i'm going to call it content 
and we're just going to expand it down and start building stuff in it. Nope, I take it back. We're actually going to, we're going to, because depending on how things are, I like to allow things just to be by themselves, not in a group, but I think it makes, it makes a lot of sense to me to have these things as a group. So I'm going to grab an image. Actually, I'll just, um, no, Let's see if I can't copy this one into there. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. So that's a great reminder. We need to have this, have the post, 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 and then we're going to take this thing and it's actually the parent group. Nope. It's parent groups, posts, list of likers. And we're going to look for the first item on this one. And the first item, uh, we want it. Whoops, not username, profile photo. Okay. Uh, give the old zoom, zoomeroo. Uh, what I like to do with this is I would like to have a border that's solid, that's white, and that is two pixels. And then I think I want it quite a bit smaller. Maybe 18? No. 28? Yes. Uh, cool. So I've got that offset by eight. So then I'll just put this here and then we'll actually go, I don't know, it's like native 28. So I, I need at least like 14 to be half of that. Yeah, it looks good to me. Now I want to make sure that, uh, I'm going to call this Liker image two, and I'm going to call this first one Liker image one, cause this is going to be confusing to have all of these right here. So Liker image three, cool. And that's spaced out pretty nice. And then again, for the data on this, uh, what we're going to do, we're going to make the layout. Actually, all of these should have, all of these have this, should have this check, checked, collapsed when hidden. That's an important point that you want to know when you're building UI, that's conditional. Uh, otherwise, you'll get things that you don't expect. You'll be like, why is there a giant space there? Seems odd. Did I? Oh, yes, I didn't update that when I copied it over. Okay, so uh, another thing that you're going to want to do is add a conditional here. And you're gonna say when this group posts, list of comments, no, sorry, list of likers count uh, is greater than one, then this element is visible. Otherwise, we'll just have it be not visible. And then I'm gonna copy this expression. Oh, it's so hard to get the middle one. And then paste that in. And so when this one is greater than Two, one. Yeah, you know what? This one should be greater than zero because it means there's one. And this one should be greater than one because it means there's two. And this one should be greater than, oh, do I have it on? Paste it. Yep. This one should be greater than two. Oh, yeah. And so the thing we want to do for all these, make it visible. Uncheck it being visible in normal. In normal life and then make that one visible. Cool, so uh, great. Visible, 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 visible. Looking good, feeling good. Okay, uh, let's see, we need some text here now. And we're going to make this Center text vertically, drop that down to one. Give the layout a centered nature alignment. Uh, so it's uh, we're gonna have it say liked by, and again, we're gonna do a little bit more conditional stuff here. Uh, I'm just gonna give it a 10, 10 spacing, knock that over. And for the appearance, I think 16 is massive. Let's get it down to 13, looks good to me. And then here we're gonna say liked by, and then we're gonna insert dynamic data. What do we wanna have happen here, right? It's pretty obvious. We want the posts, list of likers, first items, username. And then, uh, let's see, we wanna grab this conditional and paste that over. So when this is true, we want to change the text to say liked by and that same, uh, I'll just grab it from here. That same liked by that same username. 
and then space and others. And let's see, they often do this bolding thing over there on the gram. So we shall too. Cool, cool, cool. Liked by. Okay, liked by, and then does this one say liked by as well? Okay, it does. So uh, so if the count is greater than one, it's going to say then and others. And then we can just let that layout you know, expand all the way over as it needs to. Uh, we can make this clickable and have it you know, pull up a list of every everyone that's liked it in like a pop-up or something, because that's how they do it here. Again, we're looking at the desktop version, slightly different than mobile, um, but you get the idea. Okay, cool. So making great progress on our UI. Let's see, after that is gonna actually be the comment, it's, or the content, no, the post, the post, post content, the post description, the post title. What is the post? Post has some content. So let's go and actually, I'm just gonna, let's, if we, this looks like the exact same font and text and everything, so I'm gonna grab this or not. Okay, and then uh, again, I am working in a world where we're putting things to the, le to the left of the, or things with a margin left of eight. That's what I'm trying to say. And then a margin top of, let's say, um, eight as well. And then, so we want this one actually now to have the start out with this bold. And the bold thing that we want to show is the parent groups posts uh, creators username. So here we're looking at, you know, Mike Tyson. And then we look and then next up, we actually go and get the post content. So here the parent groups post content. And then let's take a look at our progress, shall we? Cool, so um, we've got this nice post here. It's got some buttons and it's liked by, oh yeah, so we wanna have a conditional here on this. So I wanna grab this conditional, copy conditional formatting. Oh, here's a new way to do copy and paste. Uh, that is a nice, another handy thing showing off all the tricks today. Um, we want this to be, let's see, if the count is zero, we want this to be hidden, and then we want to collapse that, collapse that because I don't think, yeah, none, none of these have likes yet, right? So then it's like, okay, this person posted this stuff, and the spacing down here, basically, I set it like at a, at a fixed thing so that we just have space to be working with as we're building it, but then we can fix that at the end. Cool. So let's see how the progress we're doing. Next up, it looks like we need view all something, something, something comments. And so we'll just leave that as a piece of text and then we'll say view all, let's see. So we wanna count up the posts, number of comments, count. And let's see, again, this is another situation where uh, not the likers, but the comments is greater than one or zero. View all. So I'll I'll leave it up to I'll leave it up to you out there, folks. For um, you know, if you want to get this exactly right, because the 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 wording isn't great. If it's like liked by all two people, right? Like all two of them, really? Okay. But uh, so or not liked by, but we're going to say view all. Uh, view all comments. So this would be whatever the count is. And this would only show again, if this was, you know, more than one. And if it's so if it's only one, it's just going to say view. Uh, you know what, I'd actually say that this I want to redo this conditional when it's greater than one. then this is visible. Otherwise, we're just, if there's only one comment to preview, we're just gonna display that comment as a preview of it, is how I would like to do this. So view all counts. Uh, right, and we're still updating from a copy paste here. 
So view all comments. And then we can just note that this is a bit lighter of a gray. And we'll take a take a view here. It might okay, so view all zero comments. In this conditional, oh yeah, so that's because we have this set to be true. So basically the the setup that I'm going for here is that if there are uh, greater than two comments, we want to see this thing. If there are not, we don't. <laughs> so there, it's not there because there are no comments on it. But if there was one comment, what we would want to have happen, and we'll do this now, is we'll just display. I know it's not there on Instagram, but sometimes it actually is, to be honest. So believe me. Uh, that I'm going to remove this conditional just to kind of start from fresh, from layout. So here we go. You guys are amazing for hanging in here. This is a long UI build that we're doing here. We're getting so close to the end. Uh, and so we've just got this part, the timestamp thing, and then we're going to build a little comments bar. So let's knock this out. What am I having happen here? I'm displaying a comment. And I'm doing it in a way where, so I want this conditional. And I want this conditional to be that if, hey, if there's just one comment, if the count is one, then display this thing. Collapse when hidden. Let's see. Okay, so this is actually the post content. And again, back to the organization. Uh, view all comments. This is a one comment preview. And so what we're having happen here is parent groups post, list of comments, first items. Ah, okay, and actually, whoop. over here in our comments as a data type, we've got to create the comment content. That's just a text field, that's just gonna hold the, the content. So you can see how easy it is to fix a little thing in the world of no code if you forget how to if you if you forget to add it in the first place. Cool. So uh, I'm going to clear this expression. Uh, so what we have happening, what we have going on here, is that we're saying no, no, no. Wait. Actually, we want the creator's username here, and then I'm going to paste that in. We, then we want the content. And this is perfect because, so here's what's happening. We're basically displaying the person's name who, who made the comment, and then we're displaying the comment. And, you know, I could limit this to a certain amount of characters, perhaps. I could say truncate or trimmed, uh, truncated to, maybe I'll just say, I don't know, 35 or something like that, or 25, because I mistyped. Uh, cool. So... We'll see this later. We'll see this like in action when we have one comment on there, uh, when we rig that up. So last thing we're gonna do then for this UI build video is we are going to drop a group in here at the bottom. And this is gonna be group content or comment shell. And we're gonna pass the post information or data through here to here. And we're gonna make this one a row and you'll see why in a second. Let's go make that thing maybe 44, because that's cool. Uh, top, we'll give this six or eight. And then what I want to do is I'm going to go over here and grab a input. I'm going to drop this input in here. And then I'm going to remove the style so that I can take its style of a background color of FC. Okay, that one's easy to remember. FC, FC, FC. And then I want to grab... Whoop, this A, B, A, B, A, B. Okay, so I can do that. So here on this group, what did I just say? I said FC, FC, FC for this thing. And then give it a border. Solid. I'm going to give it a roundness of, I don't know, sure, 10, why not? And I think this was the one I was saying is A, B, A, B, A, B. And now we've actually taken, so now we're going to remove the styling of this. Because, so this is the input comment, and remove, remove that, 
and remove the borders. So now, hey, hey, look at that. Uh, and then for this layout, we're gonna we'll keep it fixed width for now. We won't have it be fixed height. Oh. We will remove that. Okay, so let's see. Sure, we'll have a fixed height. We'll have it, I think it said 44 for this. And I'm gonna give it a max width of Let's say 70%. And then now, the big reveal about how to build UI. <laughs> Woohoo. Uh, I'm going to make this an outline button. Oh, that one. Remove style. We're going to let this thing fill in. We're going to have this max width as 30%. Uh, 20. And then. Make this 44 as well, and we'll remove any anything else related to it. So now you can kind of see at least a little bit of the logic about what's going on there. Is that we have this comment that's the actual thing, and then this post button is our button. And I think I'm just going to have this be fixed with at like 40 or something, and then this thing no max. It can just take up what it needs to. Nope, so it looks like we want maybe some left and right padding on this. Cool, so okay, there we go. We got this beautiful UI. Um, do we need to remove any borders? The 10 makes it help look like that. Okay, so let's check this out. And congratulations on making it to the end of this one. This one was a little bit longer. Oh yeah, so I suppose for this group comment shell looks like we got to touch the layout here so that that expands over and there's some more fixes we could do for the ui uh let's see we could for this repeating group we could just have it fit height to content and pull that up a little bit and we might want to do that for the group shell as well and then see how we're looking and then in the next video we're going to actually start putting in some comments, putting in some likes, uh, playing around with different users, liking posts of different users, and then so we can see all our beautiful condition conditions that we created uh, so um, meticulously in this video. Uh, we'll see those in action in the next one. Thanks for joining this one, and I'll see you in the next video where we'll finish this baby off.